Greg Powell's still with us. I just want to wrap up this story about yeah. what, what you're doing, the work that you're doing right now, the research that you're doing, what you're discovering, because it, it sure sounds to me like, uh, you know, I mean, you pointed out how uh, suppressing the vote of how many people in 2016 allowed... 1.1 1. 1 million in 2016. And that's, and that's what put... And I, I, I put it in Rolling Stone, and, and I put it on, in BBC and on, on the air at, uh, around the country, but the mainstream had a tough time covering it, and, but, and we couldn't warn enough people to get re-registered. So 1.1 million people in 2016, but now... It's these vigilantes. We actually had one guy who dressed like a vigilante. He dresses like Doc Holliday. He's, he's a, the, uh, a vice chairman of the Republican Party in Georgia. And he challenged thousands of voters, including Major General Gamalia Turner. Now, this guy is America's expert on warfare of the future, by the way. He's career military. He was assigned after the Ukraine, uh, Russia invaded Ukraine to, the United, to California because he was assigned by the President of the United States to, another, to a military base in California. His vote was taken away in Georgia because he doesn't live in Georgia anymore by this vigilante. The problem is, and... But you can vote in your home state when you're when Well, you're believe it or not, you, if, you're, if, <laughs> if you're sent off to, you know, to uh, um, Germany or Afghanistan, you don't lose your vote if you're a soldier. Right. You know, um, you're not supposed to. Or but unless, anyway, unless but, you're black but in and the their, vigilantes. But in in uh, in Trump in Trump land, you're no longer a legal voter. They've they've got you. And then you well, you get a chance to go to fly. They they the state of Georgia told the major general he could leave his base, go AWOL, fly to Georgia, personally appear at his um, county office to prove that he's an American citizen, this, the major right. general, um, and, uh, and then he could vote. Now, the, but this is literally thousands of the, voters. The reason that they're using these civilian vigilantes, mm -hmm. my understanding, is because there have been enough court cases, Mark Elias and people like this, saying yes. officials can't do this anymore in some states. That's right. But, so we've but, been able but to win. citizens can't. Yes, with Mark Elias and others, I've actually been in federal court with Black Voters Matter and the ACLU, and we've got a lot of these things overturned. What happens is, is that the states under, the, under federal law cannot start removing people within a month or two of the election. But individual vigilantes, they can stop you the day before the election. And so it's too GOP late to re-register. Yeah, You're and, outside and, the window. Yeah, you gotta go in physically and have a court-like hearing to get your vote counted. Which nobody's gonna do. Yeah, amazing. If you we'll continue you. the conversation on the other side of this break and we're gonna be picking up your phone calls. You can talk to both me and Greg, the great Greg Palace. GregPalace.com is his website. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Stay with us.